Hi there. Today we are going to talk about something really cool called AI agents. But to understand them, we need to start with some simple ideas and build up. I am going to explain this so clearly that even a kid could understand it. And then we will add more details as we go. Ready? Let's dive in. What is AI? Let us start super simple. Have you ever played with a toy robot that can talk back to you? Maybe a robot that says phrases when you push a button? I am the most intelligent robot. AI is kind of like that, but much, much smarter. AI stands for artificial intelligence. That just means computers that can do things that seem smart, like maybe talking with us. The simplest AI is like that talking robot. It can only say the phrases it was programmed to say. Push the button, get the same response every time. Not very smart, right? But what if we could make a toy that learns? Imagine if your robot could remember about your game after you told it once. That would be more impressive. This is what newer AI can do. It can learn from information. The more information you give it, the smarter it gets. Think about how a child learns new words. At first, they might not know what enormous means. But after hearing it used a few times, the elephant is enormous or look at that enormous building, they figure out it means really big. AI learns in a similar way, but it needs to see thousands or even millions of examples. What are LLMs? Now let's talk about a special kind of AI called Large Language Models or LLMs. This is what powers ChatGPT and similar tools. Imagine if instead of learning a few words, your robot read every book in the world. That's basically what happened with these LLMs. They were shown billions of pieces of text from books, websites and articles. After seeing so many examples of how people write and talk, these AIs got really good at predicting what words should come next in a sentence. It is like if you hear ready, set, you can guess the next word is probably go. When you chat with an LLM like ChatGPT, it is using this prediction power to figure out what a good response to your question might be. It doesn't actually understand things like you and I do. It is just really good at patterns in language. So these LLMs are great at talking, but they can't actually do anything in the world. They are like a really smart friend who is trapped in a room with no doors or windows. They can give you advice, but they can't help you build a sandcastle. For example, if you ask ChatGPT until recently who the US president was, it would have given you an answer based on its training data. To make AI more powerful, people started connecting them to other computer programs. This is like giving our smart robot some tools. For example, they connected LLMs to search engines so they could look up current information, email programs so they could send messages, calculators so they could solve math problems, calendar apps so they could check your schedule. Now the AI could do more than just talk, it could take actions. Now if you ask your AI agent who the US president is, it can use the search tool and give you the correct answer. But there was still a problem. These connections were very rigid, like train tracks that only go to specific destinations. The AI could only do exactly what it was programmed to do, in exactly the way it was told. And that brings us to AI agents. An agent is an AI that can make its own decisions about how to help you. Think about the difference between a toy robot that can only say the same phrase when you press a button versus a helper robot that you can ask to bring your backpack and it figures out where your backpack is, navigates around furniture picks it up and brings it to you. That second robot is more like an agent. It doesn't just follow exact instructions, it understands your goal and figures out the steps to achieve it. We used a robot to explain this concept, but in reality, an AI agent is a software program. It has an LLM to understand human language, memory to store what it learns, tools like search, calendar, travel apps, email, etc. to interact with the outer world, and ways for humans to communicate with them. AI agents can decide what tools they need to use, break big tasks into smaller steps, adapt when things don't go as expected, 
remember what worked well to do better next time. Now, if you use WhatsApp to tell your AI agent to book a trip to Los Angeles, it will autonomously book flights based on your preferences, send you the tickets by email, book your hotels, clear your calendar, even book an Uber to ensure you reach the airport on time. So that's the journey from simple toys that can only do one thing to learning AI to language models that can talk about anything to connected systems that can take actions and finally to AI agents that can figure out how to help you with complex tasks. We are still in the early days of AI agents but they are getting better all the time. Soon having a digital helper that can understand your needs and take actions to help you might be as common as having a smartphone. Thanks for watching and I hope you now understand what AI agents are all about. Stay tuned for more AI videos.